finally the flea markets are back open and the weather is good, which of course means I'm going to be producing more flea market videos. Two things I want to point out before we get really started. These videos are going to slow down quite a bit because of the fact that I've moved out to a different state. So I may only be able to go to these places with my dad maybe once a month. The other thing is, I want to apologize in advance for the shakiness of the camera. I got a new phone a few weeks ago, and it's much bigger than my old one, so it makes it a little bit more awkward to hold on to while filming. The phone does have an image stabilization feature, but the problem is, when it's being used, there's a noticeable, annoying, blurry graininess to the footage anytime I turn the camera. But enough of the boring shit, let's get on to finding some cool stuff. Yeah, it's neat. They made a little shelves out of it. That's actually, I've never That's seen cool. anything like that. How much is your barrel? 15? How much? 15. I don't know why my dad gets such a boner over barrels, but I gotta say, 15 bucks for this big, cool display rack thing is one hell of a deal. If I had a place for it, honestly, I would have thought about buying it for myself. I ended up grabbing Tekken 5 for two bucks. I would have grabbed that Lego Star Wars, but the ring around the inner disc had a slight chip in it, so that's a no-go. The seller also has an N64 bundle with a lot of really good games. Star Fox, Gauntlet Legends, Resident Evil 2, and Goldeneye just to name a few. It was only 45 bucks, and I'm sure I could have got it for cheaper than that, but I really only wanted two games that he had that I personally don't have in my collection. Yeah, I could have bought this and sold everything else on eBay and made more than double what I would have paid for it, but as I've said numerous times before, I hate dealing with eBay. He wasn't willing to part with any of the games separate either. Oh well. Sealed Pokemon cards for a dollar each. Yeah, that doesn't seem fishy at all. You should be able to see the Donkey Konga box set in the background. It has the controller and the box, and it's in great shape, but it's missing the game. He wants 13 bucks for it. He then goes on to tell me the typical bullshit about eBay this and eBay that, whatever, I don't care. I ended up walking around a few times and eventually picked this up for 10 bucks. Now I just gotta find the game to make this set complete. It shouldn't be too hard, the game is pretty cheap by itself. He wants 13 for the Conga with the box. I mean, it's not... If he had the game, I'd snap on it, but he doesn't have the game. Yeah. I'm being a little... How much picky. is your barbershop sign? What? How much barber is your... Barbershop 100. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I'm sure all three of those Xboxes work just fine. See, like, those metal pots? See that on the table? Yeah. Like the last couple weeks of people just snapping these things up like, you know, what the fuck? I mean, I like Star Wars, that's really ugly. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it is, indeed. Nothing but sports games as usual. Later on, we saw an older kid, and I assume his father, going nuts over these games, grabbing everything they didn't have. There's nothing wrong with that either. I'll buy sports titles every now and then if I know that they're really, really good games, but outside of that, I tend to avoid sports games like The Plague. Uh, it's a shame these are cheap tin reproduction signs. I mean, they look pretty cool. The seller wants 20 bucks for these signs, and that's just way too overpriced considering not only can you find these cheaper online, they sell some of these in stores like Hobby Lobby for around 10 bucks. Last two weeks ago, mm -hmm. you wanted 20. Yeah. 10. Surprising. Sometimes I even go up. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I didn't even mom that I never asked you. Oh, so weird. Of course, doesn't have the disc in it. 
This reseller shows up every now and again and charges outrageous prices for even things you can find anywhere. This is that same seller who told me Code Veronica was an expensive and rare game. Alright. How much is your sign? Ten. I'll take it. Okay. Got more railroad stuff here. Too. Oh no, it's more li more like this. Okay. This is what I meant. Going on, and he wants to get the Very good. Good. You selling that? Yeah. How much is that? 60 bucks. Okay. Got wheels on the bottom too. Yeah. So no, you hope somebody got a bar or a restaurant. Yeah, no, it's nice. Why do I remember having these Power Ranger belts when I was a kid? Weird. These old Super Nintendo Pepsi boxes are pretty cool, but the guy wants 50 bucks for them. Maybe that's a good price, I don't have any idea. But why does this one still have a sticker for 35 bucks on it? He then goes on and on about how the last one sold for 55 bucks on eBay. Whatever. Can you work on Yeah, you see how the antenna left. Oh, it's a 10 feet long. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. Five bucks for both of them? Yeah. I'll take them both. Okay. How much were these games? 10 bucks. Okay. For both. Okay. If you really like these Medal of Honor games, 10 bucks for them brand new is actually not that bad of a price whatsoever. But I got them already on PS3, so I don't really need this. I was just kind of asking out of curiosity. I completely forgot what the seller wanted for this sign. Honestly, I thought it was really ugly and had too much cosmetic issues. I think he wanted somewhere around 25 to 30 for it, and after some convincing, I actually talked my dad out of buying it, which he ended up appreciating after the fact. I broke it myself at least. <laughs> what do you want for it? Two bucks. Alright, I'll take it for that. You know, I've never heard of a 400-800 Atari either. I kind of wanted to buy it simply for the novelty of owning a 400-800 game, but he wanted 5 bucks for it, which, if I recall correctly, is around what they go for at resale shops anyway. If it was a more interesting title, I probably would have snapped this up for 5 but it's just soccer, so meh. We came back to this pretty cool display rack, and the guy wants 60 for it. He won't budge on the price at all, despite the damage on the back side. This was another one of those things that my dad had to walk away from buying. He told me afterwards that if he hadn't bought anything previously throughout the day, he most likely would have bought this display rack. I'll give you two for it. Not all those. It's, okay. it's like that, so... Oh. <laughs> Box for it? Yeah. Alright. One more sign, I have to load up. Great, thanks. <laughs> wow, a ColecoVision with a handful of games? I've never actually seen one of these at a flea market before. The seller wants a hundred for everything. For me, that's way too high. A ColecoVision in good shape alone without the box sells for around, I think, 60 to 80. With the addition of the games, unless some of them are super rare, you're really not getting that great of a deal out of this. I know my camera work was extra shitty here, but I was able to figure out about half of the games on the table. Cosmic Avenger, Space Fury, Zaxxon, Super Action Baseball, and Mr. Do. You can find all of these games for very cheap online, or even at a used video game store that carries older stuff like this. I got some extra bonus footage to show you all from a few weeks ago right when I got this new phone, and the flea markets technically just opened up but the weather was really shitty. The camera does have the image stabilization on, which explains why it's blurry, like I said at the beginning of this video. The seller has had these same computer games for almost four years now priced at 10 bucks a pop. I've been debating on buying that collector's edition of Prey for all four years I've been coming to these flea markets 
but I've just never pulled the trigger. A lot of people have been requesting that I show older games more instead of kind of bypassing them like I would normally. This reseller used to give out really good prices, but within the last two years something happened to where they now charge basically eBay prices, or even worse. They have a Yoshi's Cookie and a Life Force that I want, but they're charging 25 bucks for them, and there's no way I'm paying that. <laughs> this guy has a few PS2 games for a buck each that I would have bought if they weren't completely destroyed. Yeah. Commodore. Commodore. I wonder if that has anything to do with the Commodore game console. I have no idea. I don't either. <laughs> no idea. Unfortunately, that wraps up this somewhat depressing episode of live flea market pickups. My dad sure got a lot of stuff, but I, on the other hand, only walked away with like two or three things. Oh well. I really hope that next time will be better for me, but you can never really tell. Mm -hmm.